Welcome to another beautiful day on What's Buzzing, where we tell you about some social media buzzes for the week. My name is Eunice Achu. The two-day visit by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu to Qatar to woo investors continues to generate reactions on social media platforms. President Tinubu asked Qatari investors to bring their investment to Nigeria, adding that the public officials who demand bribe from them should be reported. The president spoke during the Nigerian Qatar Business and Investment Forum in Doha at the beginning of the week. See some reactions. A loose reaction reads, the absence of this strict instruction has obstructed and frustrated many businesses out of Nigeria, including Econet, Wireless and many others. And McAntony's comment reads, this is all for show. If there is no stable electricity, what will companies invest in? How can anyone invest into a rotten foundation? And Pablo Wise's comment reads, so all these people went to Qatar just to beg Qatari investors and their government to come and invest in Nigeria? Let me make this clear to you. Foreign investors cannot help you grow your economy. Well, that's his point. Now, presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter Obi, has reacted to the intervention of the government of Ukraine after they denoted 25,000 tons of wheat as emergency food assistance to 1.3 million vulnerable Nigerians in the northern region of the country. Peter Obi, in a series of tweets on eggs, described the development as disheartening, and this has generated a lot of reactions on the social media space. Our first reaction to this is from Olua Shegun, who said, it is really disheartening for a country with vast and rich land only to be dominated by terrorists. We no allow people go farm. And Sally Umofe's comment said, Nigeria is blessed with resources. Resource management is the problem. Jerry's comment to this is, what baffles me is why the president can go out to scout for investors, seek intervention for food, but never talk about getting mercenaries to read this terrorist running the nation. Tell me how they are not accomplices. Bet I comment to this said, it will take up to two to three years to complete an industry that will produce and make a meaningful impact on Nigeria's economy. But within three to six months, farm products will be ready to feed the nation and export if in excess. And another reaction from Gabriel reads, we all agree that Nigeria has a leadership problem. So we need to go back to the root cause and fix the way we select our leaders. Nigerians should be advocating for electoral laws to get fixed leaving no room for INEC to manipulate election results. And now the police command in the Federal Capital Territory over the weekend confirmed the looting of a warehouse by hoodlums in Abuja. The incident occurred in the Guagua area of the FCT in the wake of the protests across several states over the rising cost of living. In the wake of the looting of the warehouses and frustration over economic hardship in the country, the federal government announced that it will begin the distribution of grains nationwide to cushion the impact of the hardship. In a post on X, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Senator Abubakar Kiari, sympathized with Nigerians affected by the hardship. And in reaction, to this, Babatunde Akamo said, I keep saying it and I believe everyone is with me on this, that distribution of grain is not a solution and will not have any long-term impact on the lives and well-being of people. Rather, the government should find a way to make food com commodities affordable for the masses. And Michael Kenneth comment reads, how long and how far can the federal government feed Nigerians? My problem is the government still don't learn from their predecessors. Buhari fed school children and today the same children are still hungry. Give us good governance and sound policies then we can feed ourselves. Osai Hillary's comment reads, it's so embarrassing that at this time when other countries are building robots and AIs and vast technologies, we are still battling with hunger or more. And now on the sad note, the news of the passing of Mr. Ibu, a legendary Nollywood actor, also stirred lots of reactions on social media. Mr. John Okafo, who had suffered health challenges that led to amputation of his leg since October 2023, was said to have died of a cardiac arrest on Saturday, March 2nd, in Evercare Hospital in Lekki, after being moved to the intensive care unit. He died at 62. May God grant his soul rest. Let's see some condolences from X. Joseph the Dreamer's comment said, thank you for your contribution to the movie industry. Thank you for making Nigerians laugh whenever they tune in to watch your movies. Rest in peace.
man. And Frank the writer's comment reads, a great comedian who has the capacity to crack the ribs is gone. Nigerians can't have your replacement and we'll miss you and your impact. May your soul find peace. Focus Isaac comment reads, this legend left us with a lot of things. We will never forget about him. Rest in peace, champ. Big Shaft's comment to this is a natural comedian. Even as he was going, he was still cracking jokes. Lovely soul. May his soul rest in peace. Amen. We soul of Mr. Ibu, rest in peace. And that's how we call it a wrap on what's buzzing today. Till I see you again, stay safe. My name is Eunice Achim. Bye for now.